under his sleeve. Lord Jesus, that is a lot. And of course, his latest release coming our way. I think that's what you saw by the in 2024 and how his the lyrics were spreadably. He had no idea it was even going to happen. All of that coming up here on TV3 New Day, of course, with the man Rocky Dawuni. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to see you. Yes, it's a pleasure to be here and um, and also be in this room. I you know. know. You know, originally, right. uh, the studio uh, with Mr. Kwashi, this is where I recorded my first album. You're kidding. Yes. This, is, this is where my start. When began. it was Gamma Films? When it was Gamma Films, you know. Ghana Films, actually. Exactly. Before Gamma. Gamma. Yeah. So I recorded my first album, The Movement, here, second album. In Ghana, was recorded in this whole place. So when I come here, it's almost like being back home and also replenishing myself from the wellsprings that really inspired me, you know, from here and this, outside. This yeah. is phenomenal. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah. It's a privilege to be breathing the same air with you in this <laughs> very space. Honestly, I am honored and it's a, it's a huge privilege for me. And thank you so much for coming as well. Yes, yes. It's yes. been a long journey for yes, you. Yeah. I mean, your first Grammy nomination came in 2015. Yes, I remember yes, the yes. second one in 2021 yes. and then the third one in 2022. Yes. I'm sure 2024 is also coming. Well, How's the, the journey been so well, far? Well, you know, the, the beautiful thing about the journey is that, you know, once you know that your calling is a mission, mm -hmm. you know, you, you embrace, you know, the cycles, you embrace, you know, the, the ups, you know, you embrace the downs, so you know every down is an opportunity to go up, you know. And then all the challenges too, you know, you, 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 you see that it's a long view game. Mm -hmm. So you invest your efforts, mm -hmm. your creativity to always be worthy uh, to move a step ahead, mm -hmm. you know. So I think that with that type of mindset, it's mm -hmm. really helped me to be resilient as mm -hmm. a musician. Mm -hmm. And at the same time too, to not be swayed by trends you know, and I've been able to forge my own pathway mm. uh, as an artist. And I think that is that has been the key to my yeah. longevity. Yes. Yeah. You have a special way of naming your albums. Yes. I remember the one that was nominated in 2015 for the Grammys. Um, it was called, let me fetch it. Branches, Real, of, the branches of the Same Tree. Yes. And then the one for 2021, Voice of Bonbon. Yes. I didn't know that was the name of the little village you're from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, had yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. idea. It's grown big now. It's grown oh, big. Oh, so now. It's, my, it's not so. My little older brother anymore. became the chief, and it's grown really big. And now we have a, an annual festival there, you know, which is actually going to be happening on the 18th of November. So I joined the. Oh, people. so you're always a part of it. I'm part of it because my brother, you know, the, it's you know, it's the chief there. So okay. you know, as a a sibling to right. you know I always go there too and for me it's also to utilize that to showcase that mm -hmm. all of us come from yeah. you know certain beginnings right. and we have to honor that we have to honor our indigenous culture we have to elevate it we have to be proud of it mm -hmm. and then there's certain even knowledge about agriculture environment uh, you know uh, traditional spirituality all of these things that are really valuable to us that we need to culturally mm -hmm. protect mm -hmm. Our engagement with the traditional, uh, you know, kind of setup is a means by which we can also learn more and, um, and highlight that. Yes. I see. So you are, you are a proud son of, how, how is it pronounced? Boombong. Uh, Boombong. It's right close to Yendi on the Boom -bong. road from Yendi to Gushebo. Oh. It's right in the middle there. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Boombong. Boombong. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, now I can pronounce it correctly. Boombong. I see. And yes. that threw us into your third nomination uh, for the Grammys with Never Bow Down. Yes, Never Bow Down was a single. Mm -hmm. So you see, the interesting thing is that. Um, I have been, I've had a fortitude of, you know, because I've never been classified within one okay. kind of, the first one was reggae music, yeah. best reggae album, which was actually also uh, the second for mm -hmm. an African artist yes. to be able to have yes. that nomination. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, after Al Alpha Blondie, yeah. you know, and then, uh, then it was a global album, right. you know, for Voice of Boom Boom. Mm -hmm. And Voice of Boom Boom too, you know, that was also the first for a reggae, an artist that was classified to reggae to also be nominated within the global mm -hmm. setting. And then the global performance, mm -hmm. which was 
also for never the bow third, down exactly. to exactly the third tree yeah. you know was so it's you know and the thing is that i always say that when you focus on innovation and creativity you know awards are a product of the work that the input that you put into it so i try not to be fixated about it i try to do you know with due diligence work hard on my craft and then also utilize my craft too as a means to to uh, for social impact in all the things that i believe in and all the work that i do with the united nations and all of that you know so so it, it's music uh, with a with a mission right. and a reason, right. and I feel that that leaves much more resonance than just necessarily, uh, you know, taking in the limelight right. and living the limelight mm. without doing that kind of transformative usage of your craft. Now, talking about the impacts that you're making globally with the UN, your voice being all over the place and all, let's take a look at this video and come right back. Determine the halfway point of the SDG goals, how many roads we have to walk just to make it to the door, only to be told that the door is closed. Those are not my words. Those are the words of Rocky Dawuni, a famous reggae artist from Ghana, nominated by M4 for awards multiple times. But his words ring because in a very real sense, are we going to trod the roads only to be told that it's too late? Too late for us to save as many as we can from the climate crisis. Too late for us to save as many as we can from the conflicts of war. Too late for us to be able to provide the food that so many need as we reflect on the fact that more people are likely to be hungry in this world in 2030 than in 2015, or as we get to the basic numbers that 735 million people suffered chronic hunger last year at a time when so many others had so much to throw away and to use. Are we going to be too late? And that's the Prime Minister of Barbados speaking at the UN General Assembly. I had the opportunity to meet her last year here in, in Ghana. Phenomenal woman. How does it feel listening to something like this with your lyrics in there? And you were telling me. So she was going on and on using too late, too late, yes. which all comes from you. Yes, because the, the, it's uh, from my song. The, uh, actually, Hymns for the Rebel Soul was the album that came right before the Grammy-nominated Branches of the yeah. Same Tree. And Hymns for the Rebel Soul was nominated for NAACP Image mm -hmm. Award for Best uh, World Music Album, right. which most people don't even know about know that. About. But that was what set up for Branches to have that kind of, you know, limelight for the Grammy nomination. So um, there's a song called Walls Tumbling Down. Mm -hmm. So the lyrics were, how many roads we had to walk just to make it to the door, yeah. only to be, to be told, told we that were the too door, late. Oh my goodness. You know, so for her to, um, I think with the speech that she was given mm. at a pivotal time too for the world, yeah. and a pivotal time for the SDGs, and pivotal time, you know, in terms of really trying to create a new direction of where the world is. Mm. I think that those lyrics, she felt that really, um, you know, kind of really, defined the vision yeah, that she wanted to yeah. and so it was um, you know I, I was at the General Assembly and mm. I just came back from mm. there so mm. I was there in my capacity as a UN ambassador doing various things uh, I was involved in the in the global compact I was involved in the global African business initiative that mm. happened over there mm. but I remember waking up you know just when it happened you know all of a sudden there was all these calls on my phone and people sending like UN officials, yeah. you know, people from UNEP yeah. and, you know, everybody was just because it's not every day that uh, another world leader addresses all world leaders. Exactly. You know, with the message that came from you directly. Yes, a message. So, you know, in terms of creativity yes. that and I feel that impact. You see, we sit here and we talk about Grammys. We talk about selling this, selling this, selling, you know, music. The impact of music is the resonance that it gives. You know, the impact of music is the, uh, the longevity that it, 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 it gives. The impact of music is when 
the, the, the kind of uh, perspective that is expressed in the music, you know, becomes a universal statement and helps amplify a way forward for the world. And I feel that when this, I was writing this record, you know, there was really so much emotion. And I remember, you know, every day I was, I would come mm -hmm. in Koforidi, I would take mm -hmm. my guitar and be mm -hmm. walking out and be working on, and I remember even working on these lyrics right here and yeah. then, you know, walking down in Koftown, right. hanging out with my mom. Right. And then to know that right now those words are right there mm -hmm. being from Koforidia from, to the global stage from Koforidia to amazing. the global stage you know so but it also shows the impact of our music mm. and it's also something to that I keep telling a lot of artists who come to me and like what is it's like focus on your craft mm. work on your lyrics mm. you know you can always be enamored by you know like hits you know hits are today tomorrow is forgotten mm. if it doesn't have yeah, like substance. really something that is really integral yeah. to the song and so i always try to say that you know we should work hard to create a holistic approach to songwriting and also let our words to mean something you're preaching you're preaching to many people including <laughs> myself who's not even a musician it's it's resonating so much yes. with me and thank you so much for those words but let's talk about Shade Tree. Yes. That's your yeah. latest release yes. of your 2024 album. Have you named the album yet? No, the album has not been. I usually don't name my album till, okay. till all the work is done. It's done. And then I'm inspired by okay. you know, the body of work. And, and then, then you there name is a name. It. Sometimes the name is, is it's not a song. Okay. The name is the the concept exactly. of the group of songs. So, but mm. it's coming together really amazingly. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just, you know, this video was filmed in Salvador, Salvador Bahia. Salvador in Brazil. Yeah, in Brazil. And, and we just filmed one, two in Ethiopia. Yes. Uh, you know, so it's kind Congratulations. of- Congratulations. Yeah, it's really And I'm told you worked with one of the phenomenal female directors in- Yes, why, 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 why her, what's her name again? Well, um, oh God, I'm, I'm it's it's hard for me. I can't. You cannot really remember. Say, no, you talk, you, can, you, can I, I, I talk yes, about it. Yes, I, 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 I'm going to refer but, to it quickly. But to 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 go. Emma Ribeiro. Emma Ribeiro. Yes. So Emma was referred to me when I was in Bahia, mm -hmm. and for me to, you know, Bahia represents the the blackest place right. outside of Africa. Brazil, first of all, is about you know millions and millions of people of our color yes. who are there. It's yeah. the blackest African mm -hmm. nation mm -hmm. outside of the continent. Right. And uh, Salvador Bahia is the capital. So the place is, you go there and you see our people. You see our traditions. And because it was also one of the first enclaves to, uh, you know, when the Portuguese like brought the, mm -hmm. our people as mm -hmm. slaves mm -hmm. there, they, people came in groups like you have whole tribes mm. that were there. So mm. you have the Yoruba, mm. you know, the Yoruba community and all of that. And that has survived. And that's uh, the religion of the Yoruba religion now has become something called Candomblé, you know, which is a, a popular mm. uh, religion there. Mm. And you can see glimpses of Africa and then also the resilience mm. of our people, mm. how we have, they have survived and have held on okay. to identity that was taken from here right. and still continue to perpetuate that right. so for me the video was to because it's shade tree shade yes, tree shade, is about exactly the, yeah the tree where we all go Can underneath sit, it. Under. sit under for shade okay. sit under for to have when we have problems we mm. talk about it mm. to inspire everyone everybody's invited okay. so the bigger shade tree mm. of identity of Africa mm. is also embracing the diaspora. Okay. Yes. Congratulations on Thank this you. one, Shade Tree. Thank and you. since the album is still in the making, yes. keep us updated. Yes. When you're ready for the album listening anywhere in the world, invite us. Yes. We'll yes, have to yes. have one in Ghana and of anywhere course, in the world. We're gonna do the listening. Well. The listening okay. is gonna happen here. You know, I okay. live here, so okay. you know I let's do it. I, I I'm okay, I'll hold on. Please. Yeah, I'll hold you on please, to that. Please okay. hold me on yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will we'll do I that. will be there. Let's <laughs> Let's do, let's, I, 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 I will be there for you. So let's do the album listening when it's ready. Just keep us updated yes. so we can feel the entire um, body of work when it is done. Yes. And for me, for me, you. the importance of that, you know, we are also, the concept of Shade Tree is that you have mm. to look at the state of the world right yeah. now. 
everywhere, even in our region, you know, we have, you know, political issues yes. in different countries. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, people are waking up. Yeah. People are beginning to ask questions, right. you know, and our variant of democracy, mm -hmm. which we try to implement here, I think to some extent has been compromised by, you know, random, special and individual interest. Right. So there's kind of a sort of social correction going on. You know, and we can even see it here yes. from, you know, the, the, the protests the that are going. The demonstrations that have the, been going on. Yes, you know, accountability. Right. You know, we have to, if we have representation, the people have to know what their uh, uh, mandate 100%. represents, you know. 100%. So we can't live in a place where we are totally removed from government because democracy is about equal representation. Yes. It's about harmony. It's about creating a union. So the idea of a united people it's the thing of the shade tree. Shade tree, whether you belong to any political Whatever party, we don't is. have to exactly. fight against each yeah. other as a people. Yeah. Whether you are, uh, you belong to a, a different religion, we don't have to fight each other. Whether we belong to tribe, we don't have to hear somebody diminishing another tribe, thinking that their tribe is superior to others. We live in a plural yes, vision of a nation. So if we're gonna move forward, we have to do it together. And the shade tree, it's about that. The shade tree is about the conflict in Israel and Palestine for, for people oh, to come yeah. off the brink right. of destruction of each other and come to our core humanity yeah. and what connects all of us. So that's what it's about. It's a message of right. unity within our diversity. Rocky, thank, thank you. you so very much. Yes. God bless you for coming this morning. God bless like us I all. Like I said, keep us updated. There's a whole lot to talk about. I'm sure when the full body of work is ready, there'll be too much, <laughs> there'll be too much to talk about. So we'll put a stone on it for now. Yes. We'll continue definitely later. Thank our you. Our global star, our yes. global icon, Rocky Dawuni, sitting with us here on TV3 New Day. Coming up is a discussion we started last week on breast cancer. Maxine is here, Doc is here, and Stephanie Benson is here as well. Please stay with us.